Research Centre was established in 1991 under the umbrella of the University of Khartoum in Sudan. It was set up at Sobe University Hospital to provide integrated high quality medical care for mycetoma patients, superb research, excellent education, teaching and training in the various aspects of mycetoma and exceptional community development activities. Mycetoma is a flesh-eating disease endemic in tropical and subtropical regions throughout the world. Many people in Sudan still seek treatment for mycetoma from traditional healers and fakir faith healers. This is ineffectual and results in late presentation to qualified doctors. There is a massive knowledge gap in the epidemiology, pathogenesis and management of mycetoma and that has severely affected patient management and proper planning for mycetoma prevention and control. The Mycetoma Research Centre is a World Health Organisation collaborative centre, recognised globally as a world leader and an authoritative advisor in mycetoma management and research. It is a one-of-a-kind worldwide as a specialised centre to deal with mycetoma patients. The centre is dedicated to the continuous discovery and development of scientific knowledge and clinical skills and to apply that to the care of mycetoma patients. The MRC vision is to continue to be the world leader in mycetoma management and research. The MRC mission is to eradicate mycetoma, which is a life mutilating disease, through the advancement and innovation of patient care, scientific research, education and community advocacy. The Mycetoma Research Centre objectives are to provide state-of-the-art, multidisciplinary, individualised care to patients combining medical, surgical, nursing and social expertise, to conduct outstanding scientific research, to offer an energetic and effective program of teaching and education, to deliver effective community development activities, to establish national and global databases on mycetoma, and to establish national and international partnerships to carry out these objectives. The MRC has four committees to plan, monitor and evaluate its activities. A clinic committee, a research committee, a committee for education and continuing professional development, and a committee for community development. The MRC is staffed with experienced professionals with medical, health and scientific backgrounds. During the last few years, more than 6,700 patients from Sudan and overseas have been managed by the MRC, including patients from Ethiopia, Somalia, Yemen, Saudi Arabia and Chad. Through the use of Skype and the internet, the MRC has also advised on the management of patients in Bangladesh, India, Kenya, Ukraine and the USA. عشان هذه الوادة من اليمن أتيت إلى هنا تحويل إلى البروف الدكتور أحمد حسن الحل للتأكد من حالة المايشتوما لأنهم أخبرونا في اليمن أنه لا يوجد المركز المتخصص لهذه الحالة لا في السودان The MRC provides state-of-the-art, multidisciplinary, individualised care to patients. The clinical services are offered by a group of well-trained clinicians, pathologists, microbiologists and radiologists, as well as an expert team of nurses and social workers. The MRC has adapted many diagnostic tools and techniques for accurate, sensitive and safe diagnosis of mycetoma. These include fine needle aspiration cytology and cell block technique, ultrasonic imaging, magnetic resonance imaging and molecular identification of mycetoma causing organisms. The MRC has an extensive digital archive of medical records, patient x-rays, laboratory reports and photo documentation available for patient care and research. 
Many patients tend to present late with advanced disease where surgery or amputation of the affected body part may be the only possible treatment. The MRC has complete facilities for this. A treatment schedule for each individual patient is produced by a group of experts in mycetoma management. This may involve patients being treated over an extended period of time. Anna Ibrahim, إن شاء الله هسي قاعدين نضفوه وبقت كويسة إن شاء الله نتخرج وبقى كويسة ومشي المدرسة وثاني رجع ومشي المدرسة One of the MRC's objectives is to reach the many poorer patients directly in their communities to conduct health education sessions and promote advocacy. The MRC staff members have conducted many trips to mycetoma endemic areas where outpatient clinics have been established, house-to-house -house surveys conducted, mobile surgical units set up and patients treated or referred to the General Hospital or the MRC. The Mycetoma Research Centre conducts village health education sessions alerting people to the causes, symptoms and treatment for mycetoma. This has been aided by the many videos, CDs, booklets and posters on mycetoma produced by the Mycetoma Research Centre for public health education and advocacy. As mycetoma is a neglected medical, health and socio-economic problem, the MRC has presented to the public regularly through the media sources, including Sudan National TV, Khartoum State TV, Al Jazeera TV channel, Al Hura TV channel and local newspapers. Researchers have been studying the condition since colonial times. The Khartoum Centre has been globally recognised for its work and such acknowledgement in the health field is unusual for a country that ranks near the bottom of a UN Human Development Index measuring income, health and education. The MRC has trained a core group of personnel from different parts of the country in various medical, health and nursing aspects of mycetoma and now they are the change leaders in the management of mycetoma patients. The MRC has collaborated with many highly reputable international institutes and centres in the field of mycetoma and other endemic and tropical diseases. This has resulted in the exchange of knowledge, experience and technology, as well as the conducting of highly esteemed research and publications. The MRC have participated in many national and international meetings and conferences to present results of new research and mycetoma advocacy. The MRC staff teach undergraduate and postgraduate students as well as provide continuing professional development for medical and health professionals. Staff also offer international exchange program students from different parts of the world teaching and training opportunities. The MRC has conducted scientific research across the biomedical spectrum, from fundamental basic scientific experiments to clinical trials and field surveys. The MRC has produced more than 90 original articles published in distinguished journals and textbooks, one textbook of its own, as well as guidelines for patients' treatment, all of which have contributed notably to the world literature on mycetoma. The Mycetoma Research Center is a WHO collaborative center. It is recognized globally as a world leader and an authoritative advisor in the management of mycetoma and its research. The center is currently conducting several research projects addressing different mycetoma problems. The Mycetoma Research Center is dedicated to the continuous discovery and development of scientific knowledge and clinical skills 
that can be applied for the care of mesotoma patients.